Hey, love bugs. So I'm here, guys, to do the read for cancer. This is going to be for cancer, all house placements. If the messages here are resonating, then, of course, I want you to take them. Newbies, cross watchers, you're welcome. This is read from cancer's point of view. All right, loves, let's get into it. Messages for my cancers. Messages for my cancers. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So it's not real. I know it wasn't. It's not it's not real. So somebody is feeling stupid for the direction they felt that, that some connection was going in. All right, let me just say this. Someone is feeling stupid over the direction. They thought something was headed in a particular direction. They thought they had it all figured out. They knew they they felt like they knew exactly what the future looked like, and that's not the case. Secluded is in the reverse. So yeah, somebody was under the impression that somebody was all theirs, and they're not. <laughs> Somebody was under the impression that something was growing, expanding, that they were going to the next level with somebody cancer, and they're not. They're not. Trap. What's this? Yeah, somebody is not at all. Somebody's moved on. Somebody's moving on. So somebody's under the impression that there's a connection here that's deeper than what it actually is. In actuality, somebody's moved forward. Somebody's out of there. Somebody's thinking about the future, thinking about moving on. Somebody's thinking someone is all theirs and they are not. What's the mirror in GPS? True color. Someone may have been under the impression that, that the connection between them and someone else was changing, developing, growing, and now they feel fucking stupid because it's not going anywhere. This person is out of there. Somebody's freeing themselves. Yo. Let's trap moving, letting go. Feeling like shit. Yep, somebody feels stupid as fuck. Who is this person that feels it feels stupid? Because I'm gonna tell you fucked up over you. Ha! Uh -huh. Divine masculine. Let me tell you something. Truth, discovery, and awakening. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I thought that this was, and this is exactly what this is. There's somebody who got in a relationship with someone whom you've let go or you separated from. They were under the impression that this person was treating them like royalty, that something was going somewhere that is headed in some sort of direction that it is not. Somebody is the fuck up out of there, cancer. Whoever this third party is, is feeling like a dumbass. Because your old person has uh, pulled a dip move on the ass. They done ghosted or they're making up some excuse or some reason for why they had to go or they, they're, they're creating an ending here. Um, they're acting like they don't have time to put into, into this connection anymore. And why is that? Because they're trying to get back to you. Um, Kansas, I feel like you're living your life. You're enjoying yourself and you're having a good time. And you could have completely and totally distracted someone from what they were working on with someone else. Hey, it is what it is. Because understand, this person is easily distracted. They have ADD when it comes to relationships and definitely to this third party, all right? The, who, and, and the reason why this is kind of funny to me is because somebody thought that they were getting a different version of somebody. Somebody thought that they were getting a version of a motherfucker that was better than the version that you had. Nope, you got the same sorry ass version as Cancer got. On differences, Cancer, you've made some sort of 
impact on this person's life because they feel drawn to come back towards you to come in like someone is spiritually ascended in the time that they're away from you or there's some ascension taking place here and that's great and that's dandy however i get a sense of possibly you moving on you're enjoying your life you're doing your thing all right, this is definitely giving me a sense of it ain't no fun when a rabbit got the gun. All right, <laughs> like you're enjoying your life, you're doing your own thing. Glow a glow up here is taking place, or you're being noticed by other people. Whatever this is, this person doesn't like it, so now they're not so into this other connection as the third party. Third party thought they had something on lock. If they're not a third party, then they're the new person. They thought that this person would never double back uh, to you. They're never going to speak Cancer's name again. They're never going to think about Cancer's name again. Now that I have them and now that I've shown them and now that I've did this, that, and the third, they want to be with me and they never want to see Cancer again. But Cancer, they don't know who they fucking with. The person, your old person, mm-mm. Easily distracted all the time. ADD when it comes to relationships. They're not interested in whomever this person is. They could care less at this point because they are hyper-focused on you. They can't get over you and the third party can't get over the fact that they can't get over you. Oh, well. Let's see. Somebody feels stupid. Someone knows, okay, so there could be a split that's taking place here. They know that, some, that they've moved back towards you or they want to. Yeah. They feel betrayed. A third party feels betrayed by your old person. I'm going to continue to call them your old person. I feel like as we step off into this retrograde, we should be at about day one here. And this person really wants to come back in. They really want to make themselves seen, known. They want you to know that they, Papa got a brand new bag. They done turned over new leaf cancer. And they is ready and prepared and willing. All right. I just feel like you're not interested. Yeah. This is somebody who, Yeah. They feel like a lot of the hardships that they faced is karma. Somebody may be moving back towards you and telling you that you were their karma or they've gotten their karma for the way that they treated you. Okay. What is this? Yeah. Someone's coming back in ready to invest. They feel horrible. Absolutely horrible for the way that they treated you. Mm. Yep. They're coming in with apologies. Um, someone wants to come in and prove to you that they have a changed behavior. Um, I just don't feel like, yeah. Someone wants to tell you that it's been difficult, a lot of ups and downs since, you know, connecting with you. Since they moved away, since they tried to move away, there's a lot of ups and downs, a lot of hardships. Um... Also, Cancer, don't be surprised if someone come, is coming back towards you because they're like, oh, you're partying too much or, or you're having too much fun. And I used to be like that, too, and take it from me. It's not worth it. Cancer, this is someone who just wants you to be all theirs. The, let me say this as well. The third party is was getting all of these readings because they felt the fluctuation in this person's energy as they started to feel more drawn and pulled to you. I don't care if you got them blocked. It's a retrograde coming in. This person is feeling pulled and drawn towards you. They feel like you're the true match. You're the true option. This is somebody coming back from the past. Change behavior. Um, yeah, someone's talking about healing, moving on, talking about future actions here. It's retrograde. Someone may try to make one last, yeah. They wanted to know the truth. So, see, there's a third party who felt like this person was pulling away or they couldn't get it off their mind. They felt like this person could have been moving back towards you. For some of you, 
This third party has no clue who you are. So guess what? They just knew that their person's attention was somewhere else. That their body was there with them, but their mind was on the other side of town with you. Okay? That's where it was. They may not know it, but that's where it was. This is somebody who wanted to know the potential longevity of this connection, the longevity of this relationship. And yeah, there is none. Somebody, they could have found out as well at that time that somebody's out here acting completely and totally single. Yep. Yep, so there's an ending here. But it should have ended anyways. Um, I wonder if this person, well, who is this jackass? Eight of Cups. This person may play a part in the breakup between you and your person or you and your ex-person, Cancer. So, actually, it's their karma. Everybody's getting everything they deserved. So, this this third-party person, the reason they're so hard, the reason they're feeling stupid is because they play a part in why you and this person aren't together in the first place. Whether you know it or not. Yeah. This is a fake ass friend. Somebody who like, oh, we're just friends. And then all of a sudden it turned into more than that. That's bullshit. Especially if you were dealing with a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. All right. Um, yeah, definitely if you were feeling, dealing with a fire sign. This is definitely, yep, nope. Now they feel stupid because they're left behind. And now they're changing their perspective on the part that they play. Yo, everybody's getting their karma, yo. This, listen, everybody's getting their karma. The third party is sitting up here feeling like a fucking idiot for getting involved with this person, knowing they were involved with you, thinking that they were better, thinking that they wouldn't get treated how you got treated or whatever this is. And now here they are getting the same exact treatment and they don't understand why. Because that's the bed that they have made. They laid the ass down in it and now they're getting what they deserve. Your old person here, well, your old person is regretting leaving you to be with this person, all right? As we draw closer as we were drawing closer to the retrograde someone's been observing you enjoying your life having the best time being genuinely truly happy and viewing that is fucked up cancer's having too much fun cancer's enjoy life too much without me so they're coming back they want you back someone may have ascended and now they're trying to so-called keep you from going down the wrong path hey cancer don't do that don't do this i was doing that trust me we can work it out we can do this together bop 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 i don't feel like you're interested you're moving on forward you're feeling young at heart looking younger feeling younger doing better or whatever whatever it is for yourself it feels good it feels good. It feels fiery. It feels good. You feel like you're right in the moment you're supposed to be in. Honey, uh, listen, you got something very solid and very happy coming in towards you in the near future. Near future. This person is aware that if you stay out here being seen like this, look at this, the emperor. I was going to say... They know that something good is coming towards you. This is why they're kind of coming in because they see you and they know that the second that, you know, someone else catches, yep, it's locked and it's loaded. Doesn't matter. They can't stop this. No matter what they do, no matter which kind of trick they try to pull, no matter what kind of game they try to play cancer, you're moving forward and this looks good. This looks healthy. This is, yeah, look at this. Ooh, <laughs> it's a new thing and it is good, honey. You're getting what you deserve, a new person, a great relationship. You're getting fun. You're getting sexy. You're enjoying life. You are genuinely happy for the first time. And Lord knows how long the third party who stepped in, were well, they getting what they deserve? Absolutely nothing. And the person who left you to be with the third party, they're ascending. And it's that ascension. <laughs> that makes them pull away from this other person. Be more attracted to you. Because understand cancer. You're already ascended. But now you're kind of like in your. 
and your extrovert energy. Like, so you're out there, you're enjoying yourself. You don't do it often, but I feel like they're saying you do it. And they're like, no, 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 no. Because you usually keep to yourself or you're not as flirty or whatever you got going on. Maybe you don't dress as sexy. Maybe you don't, you, maybe you didn't dress as nice. And now you're trying new things, doing new things. And yeah, you're still spiritually ascended, but this person feels like, because you remember this is a new, this is a newly ascended person and you know how they are. So everything you do is a car, no sin in their eyes. But you know better. You're enjoying life. They don't want you to enjoy it without them. They don't want you to enjoy it too much. Baby, listen. We ain't going to go around in these circles. Just know that everybody's getting exactly what they deserve. Everybody. This is why I'm leaving the soft hat booze. If the messages here resonate, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, baby. Bye-bye.